This is the new Audi RS3 hatchback. It's in its third generation. And this is one of the fastest hot hatchbacks you can buy and the most expensive. Prices start between 90 and $105,000 and that's excluding on-road costs. And it rivals cars such as the Mercedes AMG A45. And I've come here to Audi Macafa. They have a bespoke range of Audi models for sale. They can help you configure your car. They are located at their new state-of-the-art showroom in Macafa. So today I'm gonna to take you on an in-depth tour of the RS3 hatchback. Let's get started. Now in order to achieve high speeds, Audi have widened the wheel arches a little bit longer and it also sits 10 millimeters lower than a standard S3. And of course, being an RS model, you get the honeycomb grille, RS body style bumpers, and the front adaptive LED lights perform an animation, RS free and a checkered flag. In addition to that, you have eight colors to choose from, as well as two colors for the five spoke Y design wheels. And for a $13,000 option, you can have carbon ceramic brakes, and for the carbon fiber package, that is a $6,100 option, it includes a roof spoiler, side skirt, external mirrors, and it also gives you the black styling package included in the carbon pack with the gloss black Audi rings and badges and grille. Also at the back, you have LED lights with progressive indicators. You have an RS bumper bar with a rear diffuser and a honeycomb grille. Now being an RS model, you get many features as standard, like the suede on the doors. You get quilted leather, RS Nappa leather chairs that can be heated, both the driver and passenger, electrically operated with lumbar support, and you also have a massage function. So just push this button here. That's a pretty impressive feature considering it's only available in a top of the range A8. Like a luxury car, you can personalize the stitching with three colors and the Alcantara inserts. Some other luxury features include a sunroof and ambient lighting. It also comes standard with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and wireless charging as well with two USB-C ports. You have Audi's 12.3 inch virtual cockpit with the additional RS layout. You also have heads up display and a 10.1 inch multimedia system which is fully touchscreen, very easy to use, very responsive. I like the way it integrates Google Maps, how you can zoom in and out, go into 3D view. Here's your gear selector. Push up for reverse, down for drive, press that for park. And when I go into reverse, I have a reversing camera as well as self parking. And being an A3, it is gonna be practical with large storage spaces, two cup holders in the middle. Now it uses the same five cylinder as before, but it's been heavily revised. It has 294 kilowatts, that's 400 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque. It has a revised seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission with quattro all wheel drive. Zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 250 or if you go for the $13,000 RS Dynamic Package, a top speed of 290. Being based on an A3, it's also just as practical. You can either open the boot from the button here or as standard you get the kick function. It's just as spacious as ever. You still get a wide opening and you can still fold the seats down. It has the big thick RS seats, but I've still got plenty of knee room, plenty of headroom, some storage to my left, my own air conditioning vents, two USB-C ports, and an armrest with two cup holders. I think if you're after supercar performance with the practicality of a standard A3 hatch, although it comes at a price, I think it's a lot of car for its package. If you're comparing this to a Mercedes AMG A45, 
The driving dynamics, they're both very fast, but I don't think the A45 can match the Audi's built quality and exterior style. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.